Good morning, friend. What if I were to leave and go away and you were to follow me? What if that were to happen? Oh, this is cool. <laughs> and what if someone came through and said, stop, leave her alone. Don't go near him or her. You don't need to be by them. You're not, you're not important. No way. Go away. Ooh, how? Yeah. How would you feel? You can come on and sit down because I'll welcome you anytime. How would you feel? Yeah, you would feel sad. And me being me, I would feel sad you weren't with me either because I love you guys. Well, you know what? That's how Jesus felt about children. He loved them. And way back in his day, at that point, children were more of like to be seen and not heard. Ooh. Now, I know many of you personally and I definitely hear you. And you know what? That's great. Because you know what? I hear you when you're sitting with your parents here at church. It's not silent. It's not quiet. Sometimes it is because I know you're listening really, really well. But I hear that extra noise. I just heard a little person talking back there. Our church is growing. We used to only have three four, maybe five of you. And now look at how cool is this? This is so neat that we've got children here. We've got our friends. Our church is growing. And that's what Jesus says. He says, let the children come to me. Do not hinder them. That means do not tell them to stay away. Do not forget about them. And accept faith from Jesus like a child. As I bet all of you have someone that brought you to church today. Or did you drive yourself? Oh, you drove yourself? Wow. Nice job, Borkart family. All right. So anyway, but I bet someone drove you here because that person, that adult in your life cares about you and cares that you learn about Jesus. And you know, when we come to church and we learn about Jesus, now we can put that into our heart. It's in our mind. And you know what? That can now come out of our mouth and we can share that with those around us. That's why they bring you to church so that you can learn about the love and forgiveness of Jesus. He says, do not let the children be separate from me. Bring them, bring them and accept faith like a child. So let's thank, let's say a prayer and thanking God for the people that bring you to church to help you learn about him. Dear God, thank you for children. Help us to see through their eyes the love and forgiveness that they have accepted and are teaching us to be with you. We thank you, Jesus, for everything. Amen. Amen.